All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday. That means that we are playing them Gladiator B. So uh, we're still playing the Demise variant. Hopefully you get a better opening. Like, I guess I'll just go ahead and take it slow. Like, there's no reason to really... You know what? You know what? I should probably just set it all. I'm going to set it. I might as well set it all. Except for one, because I want to hold the Twin Twister with Twin Twister. But uh, I was thinking about just setting one. But, you know, I want to set the Lava Coup just in case. The Warning, the Strike, the Twin Twisters. They're all fairly useful so i don't know what this is like sharks all right during main phase you special summon this card in your hand and special summon to draw one card if you do your opponent gains two thousand life points okay so you summon the monster wait a minute wait a minute wait during main phase, so you special summon it to my side of the field i draw the card and you give me two thousand life points nigga no no <laughs> I don't like that. Hey, this card's not that great. Like, not only are you sort of negging, you're negging on resources. Because you special summon the monster to my side of the field, which means that that's the less resources you have, plus is me. And you you do that? Like, I don't like I didn't like that. I do not like that at all. That that's just like I guess. I don't even know what I really want to do right now. Like, I guess I'll just go ahead and poke you with some glider to be some one up you. Like like, oh, why? Why? Why would you give me a card? Allow me to draw just for 2,000 light points. I don't like that. I don't like any of that. I don't, I don't think that's good at all. So I guess I could tag out, but, I mean, who do I want to tag out into? Darnius, uh, Starry, there's really no one to tag out to, and my opponent's just going to surrender anyway. I don't blame you. Thank you for going and giving me the silent wob wobby. you like, what the fuck is this card? Never seen this card, and it's trash. All right, we'll get another duel, bro. All right, another duel. Hopefully, I don't struggle with this opening hand. Like this, this is the problem with the card in my hands. Is you, open, you don't open up with monsters. Hopefully, you can stall out like this. I, I need my card to my hand. My monsters. I need like something. I don't get none of it. Like goddamn, that sucks. So I, I'll probably end up setting like the majority of this shit. Like, what, what do I really need? Well, I, I definitely want. Probably want my war chariot ready. I want my strike ready. I want my. Probably the only thing that I probably don't want too ready right now is the Icarus attack, but no, 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 I want the Icarus attack ready. So I'll probably set a call of the haunted. I don't want to set everything and then lock myself out of, you know, playing like Pot of Duality or Card of or something along those lines. Like, I think we're running 10 monsters and then three of my searcher card, the, 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 I forgot the name of the spell card that searches. Anyway, just not open up with Card Demise or my monsters. Like, fucking rip, right? Yep, looks like we're probably going against Blue Eyes, I'm assuming. I mean, that's what everybody and their mother's playing. You know, it's one of the top tier decks right now, right, people? So that should be fun. <laughs> or something along Arc Brave or something in Felgrim. No, no, it could still probably be, it could still be Blue Eyes. But uh, you look at a tile and you're like, ice cream? Like, I don't get it. Like, uh, this is an analogy that I'm using to describe my classes. Alright, oh, cool. I, I got a. Gladiator Beast, and if you try to fuck him up, uh, I I do have Icarus attack ready, so that's nice. Just kind of sucks that the Starry can't tag out into the Starry. That'd be that'd be kind of great. But I think it has to be with a different name, right? So you're gonna try to fuck him up? I thought you were. I thought you were gonna try to fuck him up. If you're gonna try to fuck him up, then I I guess I'm, I'd rather just Icarus attack you. Yep, yep. I'd rather Icarus attack your ass. I mean, did that do anything? This card is special in the graveyard. You can banish as many face up spell it, trap out of your opponent controls if you do this card at the end. I don't have any. I mean, unless you're gonna banish my, my Icarus attack, but I think the chain resolves backwards, so that won't even go off. But I guess. Yeah, I don't think that really does anything. And once we're turned in your son. Oh, so you can summon him. Okay. Oh, that's one way to handle this situation. And I gotta deal with Keeper. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Anyway, school, this is literally how it, the class is going. So I pretty much have a new class every single month. And the classes, how they build up in the workload, it's literally like ice cream. Yeah. Alright, so this is the guy that's like, he tribute summons it or something. 
This guy is normal summon special summon. You can equip one level seven or eight dragon type monster from your hand or deck to this card. If this card, this card is an effect on monster effects. Tribute this. Tribute one monster in this card and target those other dragon in your graveyard. All right, summon it. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Oh, that light and darkness dragon. Wow, he is just sending a shit ton of shit. <laughs> It really is. Like, the Dragon Shine's fine. You, get, you can go ahead and Foolish, but, you know, you kind of neg on that. Mm-hmm. So, I guess this is the Felgrand structure deck that you really don't see. It, like, came out, so you stole one card out of it, and you really don't do anything else with it, so. So, you're just going to poke me for 17? Like, you can have that. That's what I'm mad at. Nope, nope, not mad at that at all. <laughs> I'll take the 17. It's not worth anything right now. I kind of wanted you to, like, use your effect, pay cost, tribute your keeper and shit, and then, you know, get hit with this solemn strike, but I'm not sure if you're even going to use that effect. So this is the loop, I guess, because this card be destroyed instead of graveyard, then he can go ahead and then summon it. Summon a destroy monster, then summon monster he controls, so that's fine, I guess. I really don't have anything else. I mean, I have to call it Hunter. If I can draw a Glad, yep, draw a Glad, cool. So I can go into a uh, into a uh, Geysers. That's nice. I mean, and the card I think I think I think the one called Hunt in here is fine. So go ahead and set this, and we'll go ahead and go into Geysers. Pop your shit. I don't I don't need to go into. The wheelchair guy. <laughs> he's, he's not that great. So only you. Of course, you're not gonna strike my monster. It'd be terrible. So, why does cards equip? He's unaffected by monster effects, right? Yeah, he is. So, I guess I'll go ahead and pop you and pop you, because there's no point in going after you. And then, if you want to use light and darkness dragon effect, you can activate, but I'm probably just gonna end up striking you. I got a war trade, a wobble too. Like, I'm good. Yep. Light and Darkness will be like, hey, destroy everything on your field. Is that for cost? It's kind of like, right? it's like one monster in your graveyard. No, it's not. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and strike that. I guess I could've War Chariot that. It's the same, same result. No, no, War Chariot would've been better. Like, no. Shh, shh, no something. Then, I'll just go ahead and run your ass over and then double tag out. Because they already know that that's power. There's nothing else to really pop right now. Probably I'm gonna tag out into. I'm tag out into. Yeah, I, sh I should have used my war chariot. Should have used my trick because I could have grabbed it back with a quest. So, live and learn. Live and learn. So, so I'll go ahead and go out into party. And then I guess I can't tag out into. Sorry, I guess that'd be too cheap. <laughs> I guess that'd be cheap as hell. Yeah, they're already back in my deck. Yep, definitely should have word cherry this. If I would have word cherry that, I wouldn't even have to worry about this right now. And I got no monster summon from my grave or in my hand, so rip on that. I guess I'll just summon my two strongest monsters. I never knew that it, it said that I couldn't summon Bastari, but I guess that wouldn't be fair, right? Yeah, it says except for Gladiator Beast Bastari. Yeah, that'd be cheap. Just tag, tag out, summon, summon. Go into, into another uh, Bazarus, like, that'd be kind of cheap. <laughs> so he's definitely low on resources than me. I got four active cards, he only has two, and he was negging on them, uh, them dragon shrines. And no, the ice cream analogy. So, the first course, it's ice cream, right? The workload, workload wise, it's like, you go to the next course, now it's like ice cream plus sprinkles. So, it's everything that you need in the last, you had to do in the last class plus a little bit more. Of course, fucking gospel. Fucking gospel. Oh, I hate that card. I hate this card. Like, this card is fucking stupid, and I get, oh, oh yeah, it's a Felgrin structure deck. Or something like that. It's just like, why would you make a card like that? Why would you make a card that's a fucking monster born for dragons, the strongest type in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, and I protect from destruction? Like, come on. Come on, like, you can you can suck my left nut. <laughs> you really can. I'm at the war trade that. I don't want you to banish my cards. And then he could just banish. Oh, look, oh. 
It's gospel, so good. It's a monster born and a protection. Like, second, some decks would, would be fine with having either or. You're telling me you're fucking both? Like, come on. Come on, you're fucking both? Block your tap. Ah, Hobaku. So good. And glads. Yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and tag out. I'm gonna go ahead and send them to Starry, and then go into Geysers. Geysers, pop your shit. I'm starting to run out of resources too. Oh, it's mandatory. <laughs> I had to pop my own call to haunt it. It really wasn't doing anything anyway. Regeki. If you have like a Regeki in your hand, that's fucking rip. Wow. Okay. Wondering what this set card is, because you know I can just go into geysers and fuck your day up, so. So this must be like a solemn strike or something. It must be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and contact right into it. It must be like a solemn strike. It has to be something because it just wasn't making sense that you would set another card wow wow it's fucking quaking well you know i was just gonna go in the guys just to fuck your day up like all right ah oh, keeper so good <laughs> trivial while this card is very hard because it's very hard because it's drawing out a very special on this card this one right oh it has to be normal dragon that's why you don't get anything good day sir uh, no, I'm gonna hold on to you. I'll hold on to you. Probably go ahead and tag out into the huge. So we'll just go ahead and tag over Keeper, tag out. Uh, we'll tag out into probably just, uh, into, into the quarry and, uh, Darius again. No, quarry and a quest again. So you could be a 2100 beater who's no shame in your game, and a quest can go ahead and grab me back my war chariot. Which is awesome too. You can just recycle the shit out of War Chariot. So good. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like he's in some deep shit, but yeah. Then the third class, it's Ice Cream plus, you know, I forgot what I said before, but I think I, think I started off with Ice Cream and Ice Cream plus, plus Whipped Cream and Ice Cream plus Whipped Cream plus Sprinkles, but Ice Cream plus Whipped Cream. Though so it's literally going out. I'm getting to a point where it's like Ice Cream plus Sprinkles plus Nuts plus Chocolate Sauce plus. Like, I don't think I've gotten to the cherry on top yet. Because there's one more course after this. And it's literally like everything that I had to do in the previous course plus something else. So in the previous course, I had to do two assignments per week, two discussions, and uh, interview my teacher. Interview my teacher. Eight, eight total questions by the end of the class, right? That's what I did. Now, in this course, the, I should you not. Two assignments per week, two discussion posts, interview my teacher, and I got to do... Uh, uh, I had to do eight hours... No, five hours of field observation. So everything that the previous class had and more, like, it's just ridiculous. It really is. It is just ridiculous. Uh, I mean, I like popping shit. Do I have to pop? Is it up to two or is it two? I think it's up to two. Yeah, it's up to two. So, go ahead and set you and then go ahead and summon out Geysers again. Like this, this, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. It's Geyser, it's Geyser, it's Geyser, it's Geyser. It's Glads, man. It's Glads. You guys said Glads? I'll play Glads. Like, I never really played this deck before, but I can definitely see how it's strong. Just I haven't got my fucking card of demise. Like, where, where the fuck is my card of demise? <laughs> yeah, pop this monster. Oh, so come, does this come back? It comes up to the dragon or not. Oh my god, it's great. It's fucking ancient stone. You know what? I have War Chariot, so. Yay, fucking Ancient Stone. Love that card. And I could tag out, but who the fuck will I tag out into? I don't even think I have any monsters in my graveyard. Nope. <laughs> I could play this, but then it would reveal my plays for next turn. Like, I think I might hold off into it and see what he does, but I'm definitely going to War Chariot that. I wish this would go off and then I could War Chariot and then summon... Uh, uh, Equest and then grab it right back, but oh, so I should have known. I should have known there was gonna be <gasps> some blue eyes in here. I thought maybe he was just he was just gonna do the fell ran, but nope. Ah, uh, if only I was running the uh, retardy, then I could just banish the freaking engine stone. But I'm not. Not in the card of the variant. 
I don't think there's anybody I want to uh, tag on to. Like, I could tag on to Starry. No. I could tag on to Darius. No. There's nothing in my graveyard. I could tag out into a, a quest, but there's nothing to touch. I could tag out into Augustus. Man, I guess he's stronger than freaking Macquarie. And I really don't want to lose my Macquarie. That'd be, that'd be pretty bad. Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty bad if I ended up losing my card. Okay, so I guess I'll go ahead and summon August Augustus. The reason why he's at two is because I want to draw him. Because I knew I knew if I put him, I knew if I if he was at one, I'd draw him all the fucking time. So I was like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, like I said there's really there's really nothing to grab, but I guess I'll go ahead and just grab the little Kari back, and I can summon Darius. I could go into um uh into Heliop, uh, what's his name? I forgot his fucking name. Uh, it's F1, no, F2. Which one's my extra deck? Yeah, could go into Heraclinos. I could go into Heraclinos. I call you plus two other monsters, but I seriously doubt he's gonna have any spells or traps anytime soon. But if he did throw the Regeki at me, I'd just be so rip. I'd be so RIP. But you know what I got? You know what? I guess, I mean, there's no shame in my game. It's not like I'm planning on playing this right now, so I guess I should just go into, uh, to Heraclinos, just in case he draws a Regeki. Of course, I'm going to War Chariot that, so I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about that. So, and then I can go ahead and uh, attack and then tag back out into, was it two monsters? You just don't tag, period. Oops, I didn't know Heraclinos didn't tag. Well, I guess it's still good. I guess I'm still fine. I thought Heraclinos tagged. Well, if anything, if I, I could just, uh, uh, excuse me. I could just if I don't use my proven grounds, I could just play my proven grounds, grab tag, summon attack, you know, tag out or or grab Bastari and then go into Geysers and then tap pop. Yeah, so we're good, we're good, we won. Alright, we'll get one more duel. Bear back. Alright, another duel. Like I didn't get a single card of demise. Like where 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 are my card of demise though? My card of demise so strong. <laughs> Alright, this ain't not bad. I got a Basari, got a Call of the Hunted, I got the Proving Grounds. It's not bad. Uh, oh shit, it's ABCs. Oh, he'll probably bust out like a first turn ABC in Infinity. Like, you already know. <laughs> like, ah, when ABCs come out, they're definitely gonna be top tier shit. This felt is probably gonna need to get hit. It's too good. Like, it's the searcher and the additional equip. Like, come on. Come on. I, I have no problem with unions being meta, but shit. <laughs> it's so fucking good. So fucking good. <laughs> All right, so oh, what is, I'm sorry, it's unaffected by trap cards, and if this card is destroyed, it's destroyed instead. Like overall, you're just looking pretty good right now, and you have a 1900 beater. Like shit. <laughs> I would love to be able to just attack over your ass, but I don't think I have anything to attack over your ass. Strongest mm -hmm. monster I got is uh. The quarry, and he only gets the his additional attack when he tags in, which I'm not planning on tagging in right now. So, that's how I feel about this situation. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of shit. It's gonna be a tough one. This card is destroyed. You special summon a union monster from your hand. Oh, yep, yep. I get them some good shit. So there's there's A B C right there. Uh, I mean, at least I got the song of warning, so if he goes into ABC, he could just warning that shit. Um, said I could go into, pr I could do proving grounds, but I mean, really, what's the point? What, what, what can I grab right now? I mean, he did summon this, so you know what? Because you summoned that monster in defense mode, actually, I would play now. So that's actually pretty good because I can go and get Laquari. I can attack into your Drake. Tag out into um, Darius. Darius summon back on the stars that I picture to Twin Twister and then go into Geyser some pop your shit. So, and then when next turn when you're like, oh, I'm gonna go into ABC, I'm gonna just be like, warning, or I can just flip up that vanities and you can just be like, shit, and I'm like, yep. So, thank you for actually summoning something that I can actually tag into, survive just to tag out. So good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, of course, Darius. I'm not gonna leave you these monsters in the field to exceed with, because you'll definitely do that. Wow, wow, wow. Or never mind, never mind, I ain't doing that. I 
because I'm not contacting. So rip on that, yeah, ripperonis. <laughs> he had the ghost. He had the fucking ghost ogre snow rabbit. Who the fuck plays ghost ogre snow rabbit? This guy. Yeah, all right. So I was worried that he was gonna go ahead and uh, do an XC play. I wanted to go into the star to pop me so he wouldn't have an XC play because he could just XC and then detach, like go into Castell, try to spin me, and then de Spanish all of that. Like I said, this is exactly what he's gonna do. Oh, he's gonna go into Gear Giant. Ah, uh, this duel, this duel. Of course, I'm so mad that he had that fucking shit. Uh, no, it's fine. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that fucking ghost over fucked me up good. Fucked me up good. But that's what happens when I'm trying to use fucking glides to play against metal. Like, glides are, glides are good, but are they metal? Like, no. I thought maybe the card of mine would be a little bit better, because I can, you know, go plus, I can go ham on that shit, but I think you card of the mine, so I ain't doing shit, right? So I really I need to draw him. Really, I need to draw him to a glad. If I can draw him to a glad, I'll be great because I can call it Hunter to Bastari. <sighs> yep, I need I need to draw him to a glad. Please. I believe in the heart of the cards. Let me draw him to a fucking glad. And not get hit with that fucking set solemn strike. Like I oh, that ghost over fucks me up. Nope, nope, Duali. That's it. That's like the last thing I wanted to draw him to. Well, really wasn't planning on special summoning anyway. Oh, there's Carter Demise. Definitely grab me card of mine, obviously. So good. I'm gonna play card of mine. Draw three, because why not? Wow, and I drew. Don't you just hate when you fucking card of mine and duality and draw into a fucking duality? Like, that's fucking. That's a waste. Oh, I'm pitching the duality, obviously. There's no. No fucking Wabaku or anything. That's a real suck thing. Like, where's my Wabakus and shit? I'm not even sure if I can survive right now. Like, I should just probably, I should probably just scoop it up. Like, maybe if I flip up vanities, do I have anything to get rid of it? Like, I can think about striking him and then activating vanities, chaining call of the haunted. That way I can summon like a Darius and attack over him. I'm seriously trying to figure out how I can survive this duel. I'm gonna hold the A button down. Cause I, I'm thinking that he'll probably go ahead and go after his ABC now, which I don't want him to do. So, the vanities. So you can't do ABC, and then I'm gonna chain call the haunted. Now, of course, chain results backwards, so I'll go ahead and summon my monster, and then Vanity's- Oh, never mind, you had the Twin Twister. <sighs> Alright, that's good. <laughs> that's good. It's fucking ABC, and that, that fucking- that fucking Ghost Ogre fucked me up. Ah, uh, ABC, you're- you're gonna be top gear. Alright, be right back. Ah. Uh, damn, he had, like, everything for me. Everything. I think I'd rather go first, but let me try second. Yeah, this end's not that great. <laughs> it's more of a golden first stand, because it's a day crystal type. I would say I ran this card too, because I didn't want to draw that one. I keep drawing it, like... <laughs> what level is it? Eight? I could put in a rank eight play in here. So it can summon itself from the hand, then say that I can't summon him. So if I attack and then special summon Glide from your hand, I can summon another one of him and go into a rank eight play. So that wouldn't be terrible. Manju. All right, so probably going against like Cyber Angels or something. Like nothing, nothing good. Oh, never mind. We are going against Chaos Max. Like, go ahead and just advance your chart. Some of your Chaos Max, and I go ahead and admit defeat right now. Like, there is no fucking way. There is no fucking way I can deal with Chaos Max. And I have a hard enough time against fucking Blue Eyes, which he's summoning right now. Like, I thought maybe if you let the Manju there, I might be able to do something, but no. Nope. He's going to Spirit. I mean, it's still too strong for me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like that play. I'm not sure if I like that play at all. I think about maybe... 
searching for Apostari because I have the Icarus attack. Just that Chaos Max is gonna fuck me. Like, what what the fuck can I do against Chaos Max? I would literally have to bust out a ring four play and go to Neutopia Lightning. Like, that's the only thing that I have. Through my freaking Mermelo too. Like, like, if you're just gonna attack over my Apostari without even doing anything, that's fine. But if you upstand, I'll definitely hit you with the Icarus attack. I at least want to get you know, more cards out of it. I'm not going to eight first attack myself. Because it's a, it's a mandatory two cards, not up to. So, your card and something else. So, Oh, yep. Here comes Chaos Max. Definitely here comes Chaos Max. <sighs> I'm going to try to that. Because I don't, I don't want you to search. <laughs> I don't want you to search. <laughs> Stop. I don't want to get Chaos Max. I really don't. <laughs> That'd be terrible right now. At least I stopped that. The Manju and the Sanju, the Rancher Shark, Chaos Max, so I can send from the deck. Bam, there he is. So, that'd be an emergency Utopia the Lightning button if I've ever seen one. That's fine. I'll take that. How do you use my Crystal Tech right now? Because I can just go call the Hunter Pistari, then do the Mermella play, and then go into Geyser's top your, your shit, so I'm good. I can tag out into a quest and grab back my War Chariot, so. The question is, are you going to do anything else? Are you, are you done? Okay, look, you're done. Alright. Ah, uh, there's the card of Demise. Oh, I'm not doing that play this turn. i tell you that. Like, there's really... Not even too great the card of Demise. And I have this in my hand, so... I could tag out into him and he could summon him. But then doesn't he get, like, shuffled back? Like, a rank 8 play in here wouldn't be too terrible. I'd say... Uh... So summon from your hand, shovel into the deck during the end phase, yeah. So if I summon the Augustus and he summons the Augustus from my hand, they would get shuffled back into the deck. But I guess it wouldn't be terrible because at least that'd be one less card in my hand for when I do card of the mind, so. I'll get rid of this call the haunted that's just gonna be stuck here. I should probably tag out into like a Oh wait, I'm gonna go into Augustus, so let's say I should probably go into a Wing Beast. So I'm gonna summon Darius. No, not Darius. I'm gonna summon uh, summon. Shit, what am I summoning? A quest and Augustus, and then Augustus will summon the Augustus from my hand. And then this Augustus will, that gets shuffled, summoned from my hand will get shuffled back into a deck, which I guess is fine. Because then at least it's not in my hand for freaking, uh, for freaking card demise if I play it next turn. So. So I should probably put I should put a rank eight play in here. If I had a rank eight play, then that'd be great. Do I have a rank eight play? Oh, I could just contact into another fusion. That's right. You three guy you'd be shuffled bunch of this card. This card attack attack your probably can't activate card effects until the end of the damage steps. This card attack attack you shuffle to shuffle this card and so some two other beast monsters and your wing beasts. Uh if anything, I wouldn't mind going to another Geyserus, but there's nothing to pop. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't go to another Geyserus. I don't have a story. This was this is three. This guy can't tag out. Here, Klinos, so I don't think it's necessary right now. So I'll just go ahead and just allow the Augustus to go. So rip on that, but you know what? It's better than having it in my hand. And this duel, it's it's just gotten started. Like he hasn't even done his major build life place. Just know he just knows I have war chariot, so I mean once I affect you activate I can fuck your shit up. So that's that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you can summon fucking Manji again, sure. I'm just gonna fuck his ass up again. Like I'm not allowing you to search in Chaos Max, dude. No. Shit. <laughs> I don't wanna see Chaos Max's ugly ass face. Oh wow, and I'm just gonna catch that fucking swift ass Shigeki. Alright. No, don't dot 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 me, man. Fuck your Chaos Max. No. No. Fuck Chaos Max. <laughs> Carnamize. Oh, Carnamize into Wally. Uh, I... I... Grabbed... No, I grabbed the... Uh, War Chariot. Chariot back from 
grave. Like, no, 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 no. Like, I didn't search that. <laughs> so, like I said, I could activate the proven grounds, but I think for now I'm just gonna just set my hand. Like, I mean, I went stupid plus with Carter Mine, so that's great. The problem is, is that if he just happens to just draw into the Chaos Max, then I'm super fucked, so. Oh, cool. Uh, I just went crazy plus, yep. Yep, my hand is a piece of shit. Yep, yep. You, <laughs> if only, only you got those uh, ritual searches. <laughs> but no. <laughs> That's the whole point. No, I don't want you to get the ritual searches, so I guess it really doesn't matter who I get. Just not, not freaking uh, uh, a quest because I'm gonna attack out into him and then get my war chariot back. Oh wait, a quest is in the graveyard. Then the monster I summon is effect negated, so never mind. I forgot a quest is in the graveyard. So. Um, it's literally Carter Demise fucking, uh, Gladiator Beast, like, no, 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 it was one trap, I grabbed that, that one trap back from the grave, like, no, 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 it was the same trap. It's not terrible to just tag out into Darius, because Darius will at least get me a monster born of something. With this man's hand being ass and me having the fucking back row of kings and he already threw the regeki at me, like, I don't have to worry about that. It just sucks that I'm summoning the monster back with effect in the game. It'd be great if I could summon the monster back and then, you know, get my effect, but I guess that'd be too stupid. I'll just set that. He already uses Regeki. I got Icarus attack with, with no wing beast right now. I kind of want this back so I can attack it out, but I guess this should have been better for the Icarus attack. Uh, I got Tuntress doing nothing. Icarus attack and nothing is solemn worryingly. I'm okay. I'm okay right now. His hand is just straight up ass and I have the Vanity's emptiness. So even if he draws into the Chaos Max, I can just like Vanity's emptiness. Mwah ha 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 ha. Alright. So go ahead and activate your Rinse, Rinse Ritual Art. And I'd be like, and no. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Cause that's how this deck plays. Like it's a, it's a card demise deck. Like I don't want you to do shit. Yeah. Fucking be blue eyes. It's fucking uh, <laughs> like thanks for playing the Chaos Max version, which is way less consistent. Like holy shit, you're fucking you're running all the more chariots, and you threw the regeki at my ass. If you didn't throw the regeki at my ass, you'd be even deeper shit. But that regeki that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> With no call, the hunted's in sight. Oh, I'm just putting in work in this fucking deck. You know, we're done. So, ice cream is just getting ridiculous. So, lots and lots of work. And the next course will probably be even more work. Uh, we're still, I'm still in week one. Uh, I got one of the two assignments done. Uh, the five hours, I'm literally just going to go down to my high school on Friday. Sitting there all all day, pretty much. from Because I have to be in there five hours, but there's no five hour increments. It's an hour and 30 minutes. So, I'm sitting there for four courses for six uh, six hours, you know, sit in there for six hours, get that done, interview her, there's there's literally two questions per week, so four weeks, eight questions, ask her all the questions right there, so I'll have that done, uh, get done with the last assignment, which is kind of easy, like, it's like, oh, technology in your classroom, write about how, what technology you would use in your classroom, probably write about the new, you know, touch electronic birds that are the projectors as well, those seem pretty cool technology, then they're like, oh, well, how would you work without the technology before you get it? Just use a regular whiteboard. Like, okay, the struggle for that assignment's easy. And uh, I just gotta do a discussion board, but I can't do a discussion board until I get my books. So the books should be actually coming in today, Wednesday, in the mail. So then I can do my discussion, he'll post, I'll apply to him, that's done, and then I'll be done with week one. So like I said, it's just a shit ton of work, so that's fun. Uh, as for the next great YouTuber, like I said, I, I didn't really pay attention. I forgot that he said that he'll be announcing who's the, the 16 people on the first, so uh, it should be tomorrow, Thursday. If I make it in, I'll make an announcement Friday and start working on that as well. It's, it's super busy, super busy. And then I also got a regionals coming up too, so rip on that.
Anyway, I am done here. So, glides, like I said, they're just a little slow, but they're fun. They're fun. Like, I can definitely see the appeal of this deck. I never played it before, but it, it's cool. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow tagging, playing some Zephyr. All right, people. Thanks for watching.